welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway. I'm the author of several Tudor history books, including On This Day in Tudor History, which has inspired um, these talks that I'm doing on a daily basis for the whole of 2019, bringing you births, deaths, marriages, executions, baptisms, coronations, battles, all sorts of Tudor history events for you to enjoy. On this day in Tudor history, the 12th of July 1543, the 52-year-old King Henry VIII married 31-year-old Catherine Parr, Lady Latimer, in the Queen's Closet of the Chapel Royal at Hampton Court Palace. Now, just to point out, I have pointed this out before, but just to point out that the Queen's Closet is not a wardrobe or a cupboard or a closet as we would think of today. It was a private area, a private chapel. So it's um, somewhere where the Queen would go to pray sort of privately. So it's a space within Hampton Court Palace. Now here is an account of the service by Richard Watkins, the King's um, proper notary. On the 12th of July, 1543, 35th year of Henry VIII, in an upper oratory called the Queen's Privy Closet within the honour of Hampton Court, Westminster Diocese, in the presence of the noble and gentle persons named at the foot of this instrument, and of me, Richard Watkins, the King's proper notary, the King and Lady Catherine Latimer, alias Parr, being met there for the purpose of solemnising matrimony between them, Stephen, Bishop of Winchester, proclaimed in English, speech given in Latin, that they were met to join in marriage the said King and Lady Catherine, and if anyone knew any impediment thereto, he should declare it. The licence for the marriage without publication of bans, sealed by Thomas, Archbishop of Canterbury, and dated 10th July 1543, being then brought in, and none opposing, but all applauding the marriage, the said Bishop of Winchester put the questions recited, to which the King, with a smiling face, replied yea, and the Lady Catherine also replied that it was her wish. And then the king, taking her right hand, repeated after bishop the words, I, Henry, take thee, Catherine, to my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, till death us depart, and thereto I plight thee my troth. Then releasing and again clasping hands, the Lady Catherine likewise said, I, Catherine, take thee, Henry, to my wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to be bonheur and buxom in bed and at board, till death us depart, and thereto I plight unto thee my troth. The putting on of the wedding ring and proffer of gold and silver described followed, and the bishop, after prayer, pronounced a benediction. The king then commanded the proper notary to make a public instrument of the premises. Now Watkins also goes on to record who was present at the wedding and he lists John Lord Russell, keeper of the Privy Seal, Sir Anthony Brown, captain of the King's Pensioners, Thomas Hennage, Edward Seymour, Henry Nivett, Richard Long, Thomas Darcy, Edward Bainton, Thomas Speak, Anthony Denny, and William Herbert, Catherine's brother-in-law, also the ladies Mary and Elizabeth, the King's children, Margaret Douglas, his niece, Catherine Willoughby, Duchess of Suffolk, Anne Stanhope, Countess of Hertford, and Jane Dudley, Viscountess Lyle, and Anne Herbert, Catherine's sister. Now, Catherine was King Henry VIII's sixth and final wife, and Henry was actually her third husband. Catherine had been widowed twice. 
Her first marriage had been to Edward Burra, son of Sir Thomas Burra and grandson of Edward, second Baron Burra, whom she married in 1529. Now, Burra died in 1533, and Catherine went on to marry John Neville, third Baron Latimer of Snape in Yorkshire in 1534, but Latimer died in March 1543. The King and Catherine's marriage lasted until Henry VIII's death on the 28th of January 1547 and Catherine went on to marry Thomas Seymour, first Baron Seymour of Sudley, who was the brother of the late Queen Jane Seymour, just a few months later. Catherine sadly died on the 5th of September 1548 at Sudley Castle just a few days after giving birth to a daughter, Mary. So that's what happened on this day in Tudor history, on this day in 1543. We have Henry VIII taking his sixth and final wife, Catherine Parr, Lady Latimer, in a wedding ceremony at Hampton Court Palace. I do hope you're enjoying these, uh, these daily sort of time travels into uh, Tudor history. Um, I really appreciate you listening to me. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking round about there. You can hit the bell to be notified of videos as they go live. You can also uh, share opinions in the comments and please do like this video as well. Uh, every little helps. I'll be back tomorrow with another Tudor goodie for you. See you then. Take care. Bye bye.